a tower on horizontal ground leans towards north at two points due south at distance a and b respectively from the foot the angular elevations of the top of the tower are alpha and beta find cot theta if the inclination of the tower to the horizontal is theta so what is given here see first you have to draw the figure correctly for the given question so you have a tower and they are saying that the tower is leaning towards the north so let us assume that this is north direction and this is south direction okay so i have a tower which is leaning towards the north so this is going to be my tower and uh, i am assuming that this tower is making an angle of inclination theta with the ground now what are they saying if i consider two points due south of the tower right from these two points now what are they saying about these two points these two points are at a distance of a and b respectively from the foot of the tower so from these two points the angle of elevations to the top of the tower is given as alpha and beta so this angle of elevation from these two points which are due south of the tower is given as alpha and beta you have to find out what is cot theta where you know theta is supposed to be the inclination that the tower makes with the ground okay so this is the actual length of the tower so this length i am taking it as h now let us try to solve this okay let us first take this length to be x right so i am going to take this length as x so what can i say what is tan theta if i consider this right angle triangle right if i consider this right angle triangle what can i say what is tan theta tan theta is equal to h by x or i can say h by tan theta which is nothing but h cot theta so this is one equation that i have when i found out what is tan theta similarly now consider this triangle right what is if you consider this bigger triangle what is tan alpha using that triangle if you consider this right angle triangle right what is tan alpha tan alpha is equal to you have h by a plus x or i can say a plus x is equal to h by tan alpha which is nothing but h cot alpha or i can say x is equal to h cot alpha minus a so this is the second equation that i have similarly what is tan beta now consider this big right angle triangle what can i say what is tan beta tan beta is equal to h divided by b plus x right so h divided by b plus x or i can say b plus x is equal to h cot beta or we can say x is equal to h cot beta minus b yes the same way as we did above right so here what will you get you will get h uh, b plus x is equal to h by tan beta which is nothing but h cot beta so what is x x is nothing but h cot beta minus b now you have three equations here so now let us try and equate the value of x see if i equate this equation 1 and 2 what will i get i will get see if i equate equation 1 and 2 what will i get i'm taking equation 1 and 2 so both are x right or i can say h cot theta that is equal to h cot alpha minus a or i can say h is equal to so if i am bringing all the h terms to one side so i will have h into cot theta minus cot alpha which is equal to minus a or i can say h is equal to a by cot theta minus cot alpha right i'll have a minus here right because if i uh, take h terms to one side i'll have h cot theta minus h cot alpha is equal to minus a or i can say uh, h is e that is h into cot theta minus cot alpha is equal to minus a or it will be h is equal to minus a by cot theta minus cot alpha or you if you are taking out the minus it will become cot alpha minus cot theta right this minus will go on the numerator and denominator i'm changing the signs so this is what you get similarly let us equate equation 1 and 3 what will we get if we equate equation 1 and 3 we will get h cot theta that is equal to h cot beta minus b or what can i say h is equal to b by cot theta minus cot beta right you will have a minus here again you can convert this minus to plus and it will be like this cot beta minus cot theta on the numerator you will have plus b now what do you have here see you have h in terms of a and alpha and beta and theta or 
I can just equate these two. See, basically what I am trying to find out, I am trying to find out what is the value of cot theta. So that's why I have written it like this. Now, if I equate these two equations, what will I get? I will get A divided by cot alpha minus cot theta. I am equating these two equations. Let us take this as equation 4 and equation 5. So if I am equating equation 4 and equation 5, what will I have? A by cot alpha minus cot theta is equal to B by cot beta minus cot theta or I can say A into cot beta minus cot theta is equal to B into cot alpha minus cot theta or here if you uh, take the terms which has cot theta together and take all the other terms to the other side what will you get? You will get B minus A into cot theta is equal to B cot alpha minus A cot theta beta or I can say cot theta is equal to b cot alpha minus a cot beta divided by b minus a. So, which what is your answer? Your answer is going to be option C. So, that is what they have also given here as third option. So, cot theta will be equal to b cot alpha minus a cot beta divided by b minus a. The correct answer is option C. A person of 6 feet height wants to pluck a fruit which is on a 26 by 3 feet high tree. If the person is standing 8 by root 3 feet away from the base of the tree, then at what angle should he throw a stone so that it hits the fruit? So, there is a tree, the height of the tree is given as 26 by 3 feet and there is a person, the height of the person is given as 6 feet. He is standing at a distance of 8 by root 3 feet away from the tree. Now, what should I find out? I should find out the angle at which he should throw the uh, stone so that the stone hits the fruit. Now, you have to find the value of theta. So, uh, here this length is 6, right? So, this is also 6. So, what is this length? This length is nothing but 26 by 3 minus 6. So, if you consider this upper triangle, right? Let us... Um, let us take this as A, B, C, D and E. And if you consider the triangle A, D, E. Yes, if you consider the triangle A, D, E, what can you say? You can say tan theta that is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. That is nothing but 26 by 3 minus 6 by 8 by root 3. See, this length is 8 by root 3. We know that, right? Or uh, this is equal to 8 by 3 by 8 by root 3 which is equal to 1 by root 3. So, what is the value of theta? Theta is equal to 30 degrees because we know tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So, what is your answer? Option 2, 30 degrees.